So now that you guys have your DXF, I have mine here on the desktop LED heart. So we're gonna switch over to the board now, create from schematic. And here we have our schematic. I'm going to change to millimeters, delete the board, and then I'm gonna run a command run import dash DXF. And then you're gonna see a bunch of information. So you need to go select your DXF. So mine's on the desktop. I wanna import it in metric. I want the width to be 0.001. And then here is where it kind of becomes a pain in the butt. You may have to play with the scaling. It depends on what scale your heart is in Inkscape. So I've already experimented with this. I want my scale to be one, but you might need to change to like 0.5 or two or something. And then just play with that number until you get something that you're comfortable with in terms of size of your board. So I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna click run, and then it's gonna drop my heart. So here we are. However, you're gonna notice it didn't go gray, which means that it thinks our board isn't closed. This may or may not have happened to yours. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on some of the pieces and wiggle it and see how it disconnected there. That means we need to connect it. So this is kind of a little plug and play thing. We have to look at the dimensions here, look at the dimensions here. So the 0 0.3125, 0 0.2, a lot of numbers. Make them match. And I'm going to wiggle it around. Still not connected. 4236, 4236. Oh, there we go. These 42 ones are off by a little bit. So I'm going to pick the ones with more significant digits. There we go, now they're connected, but that means there's another piece not connected since it didn't go gray. There we go, these two spots aren't connected. So I'm gonna click on one, look at some of the numbers. The other half, 22.6, 22.6, see if they're connected. Nope, we need one more dimension. There we go, the minus 22 connected, but this one I think isn't. So pretty much just rinse and repeat this process until everything's connected and then the board goes gray. There we are, we went gray, so I know those are connected. And now we have a closed board. Sometimes you can get away with this with Oshbark, but it's generally better to have a closed board. We can start placing some of our components on the board. So I'm gonna do a rough placement. First, we want the battery to be on the bottom of the board. It's gonna be roughly in the center. Itty tiny is gonna be roughly in the center too. It's gonna be kind of on top of this, but in such a way where these aren't gonna get in the way of each other. The switch is gonna be somewhere over here, and it's also gonna be on the bottom of the board. All right, so as I wanna start placing components on the board, this is based on the heart that I have, which may not necessarily be yours. And because I've already built this, so I wanna make sure my components are nice and aligned. So this actually will take longer for you to do as you massage components into place, and then maybe even go check on Oshpark later to make sure everything's where you want it. So it's gonna look like I'm going pretty fast and I know exactly what I'm doing. And that's because I'm basing this off of my previous design. So unless you happen to have the exact same DXF I have, you probably won't be able to follow this. So just as a heads up, up, go at your own pace and just watch this so that you guys can get an idea of how you want things to lay out and then just general technique of laying out your board all right so I have my battery connector actually at a location of zero so it's perfectly down the middle in 20.82 so I like to keep my board symmetric it makes it nicer when everything is perfectly symmetric this is going to be again zero 23.36 so this is made perfectly such that these pins are not in the at tiny and it won't get in the way of it so let's do the resistors because the leds need to be perfectly symmetrical so I have my ninth resistor in a position of minus 18 and 37 careful all these are going to be off a little bit since they were placed on the millimeter layer and now we're on the dimension layer and then i'm going to rotate it i want to move r8 and i'm going to just move this anywhere and then put it into place so i want to place the rest of the resistors All right, so I'm gonna place my switch, but I'm gonna first activate the DRC. Should've done this earlier. Load, design, Oshpark, two layer board. So that kind of made itself not affect itself, if that makes sense. And then the position I have for my switch is 16 and 18.4. However, I rotate it at a very particular angle. I rotate it, it's gonna be angle 44. 
good. Next, I'm gonna start placing some of my LEDs. So my LED one is gonna go right here. It's gonna be facing like this. And then I have them all go in a clockwise fashion. All right, I have all my LEDs on the board. Now I'm gonna actually put them into place. So I know these two are gonna be aligned perfectly down the center. 38.6, so it's kind of out of the range of these. For my bottom one, I have it at a height of 4.3. And then I want the other LEDs to be symmetric. So I rotate this one at an angle of 45, set a position 10.4 and 15.2. So I want these positions to be mirrored on this guy, 15.2. 10.4 and then the rotation is going to be 135 so this was 45 then the opposite of that on the other side is 135 and this one's going to be 45 and then the exact placement of this 19.1 and 24.6 and want these to be perfectly mirrored minus 24.6 could even move it out a little bit kind of like where it is 19.3 Kind of like it closer to the board to kind of match these ones all right let's do the other ones so led3 i have at a position of 24.1 and 36.1 and again i'm going to move it out a little bit because i want it to be closer looks good so 24.4 36.1 so minus 36.1 just brushing along the edge with the t keep out that's how i like it this is going to be 14 and 46.2 move it out a little bit see this is what i mean by massaging it around and then to keep it symmetric it's going to be 14 minus 14 and then also the same height I'll actually move this LED up a little bit and I match the convention I've got going on. And if you're happy with your design, again, mine was partially copied. I've even deviated from it a little bit, but this really takes some massaging around. Hopefully your device is symmetric. Again, it doesn't have to be, but me, uh, if it wasn't symmetric, it would bother me. So make it however you want that you're happy with. So take your time to get to a point where you're happy and you're ready to route your board. And then of course, we'll start routing it.